but the bible says let the word of christ colossians 3 verse 16 dwell in you richly so i want to ask you a question how did the disciples grow in the word when jesus resurrected hallelujah ephesians chapter 3 that's where we are. verse 9 it's projected so we can just look to save time and to make all men see what is the what of what it says the fellowship of the mystery to make men see what is the fellowship the resultant effect of our partaking in the knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom which from the beginning of the world had been hid in god who created all things by jesus christ verse 10 to the intent that means this is why he is now revealing to us the mystery that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the multifaceted wisdom of god that means that the wisdom of god is shrouded in mysteries and every time god wants to display new dimensions of himself he opens people he grants them access to the mysteries of the kingdom take all of me all of me lord you have my everything use all of me all of me lord i give all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord anoint my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me Brothers and sisters, we reign in this kingdom on the strength of our knowledge of the mysteries. Hallelujah. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is not about claiming, I take it. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of the spiritual understanding of this system. The laws that have been put in operation. Hallelujah. And how to be able to work with these laws to ensure that the kingdom of God comes across a territory. So dominion has nothing to do with just trying to claim. It's not about jacking yourself and trying to believe. When Jesus walked upon the earth, every time he looked at things, he interpreted them on the strength of his knowledge about the mysteries of the kingdom. When he saw the winds and the waves, he didn't join the other people to say, I think we're in rainy season. He looked well and he said, no, this is demonic. Are you getting what I'm saying now? All through the Bible, all those who were able to, by reason of some spiritual means, have access to the mysteries of the kingdom, they were the ones who reigned in their generation. Isaac understood something about spiritual laws. And when men were running away for famine, he sowed in that land. And he reaped a hundredfold. Hallelujah. The Bible says the Philistines envied him. He increased, he worked strong, he made progress. Moses had an encounter and there was something that Moses knew. 
he knew that his rod was the rod of God and that that rod could do mighty things. Brothers and sisters, those who will be featured in this end time move of God are not just men who say, God, use me. They are men who will have to understand the ancient keys that kept the heavens and the earth closed and that opened them at will. If you do not understand this key, you will die like a member. The world is becoming spiritual every day. I hope you realize. It used to be physical when giants and great men will threaten others. Then it now became intellectual. Hallelujah. So your dominion is on the strength of your knowledge of intellect and, and having knowledge of your biological environment and so on and so forth. But before Christ comes, it is they that know their God. They that know is the same word know like a man knowing a woman. They that have come into practical intimacy that has proofs. They that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. I don't want to live my life guessing, hoping I'm right. Hoping that the laws of the spirit that are being operated are the correct ones. Only to find out that it's not like that. The Bible says, awake thou that sleepest. And Christ will give you light. He said, walk circumspectly. As wise, not as unwise. In the days that will come, hear me. Those that do not understand the mysteries of the kingdom will die like men. Mm. But they looked at Paul and Barnabas and they said, the gods have come to us. They called them the Greek gods, Zeus and Hermes. Because... Oh my God. Look at the Bible says how that um, Peter now writes, a snake beat his hand, a viper. And he just shook it. And they said, this is not an ordinary human being. Imagine, imagine if all Moses had to bring the people out of Egypt was a desire to stop seeing people suffering. You know he would have died right there. Right there in the palace. That's what a lot of people are carrying. They have zeal. Lord, I want to save my family with zeal. Zeal without knowledge will end you in disaster. Because you will enter territories where you do not understand the codes of operation. And your zeal will frustrate you. It will make it look like Jesus did not die. There are many people who have sustained casualties. Some people went to their villages out of zeal. And they set altars on fire. They set shrines on fire. Before it finished burning, half of them were para was paralyzed from top to bottom. Like the temple, the curtain that tore when Jesus died. Half of them from top to bottom. Left hand side or right hand side. What do you know that sponsors your audacity to confront evil? What secret have you found? Those of us in ministry, what have you found that assures you that ministry will last? Hmm. He says, I found your word and I did eat them. And it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul. What have you found? What have you found that gives you confidence? In this wicked society that we live in. What have you found brothers and sisters? In Luke chapter 4 reading from verse 15 downwards. The Bible says Jesus found. He found it. Where it was written about him. The prophecy of Isaiah. And he said this day is this scripture fulfilled. What have you found? That gives you a guarantee that you will be married. By now you know being beautiful is not enough. What have you found? What is your spiritual advantage? When all else fail, what do you stand on?
Job is one man I have come to respect and love. When you study the book of Job, this was a man who had all kinds of catastrophe in his life. Do you know what it means for a man to be the richest man in the East? The East has always been associated with wealth. Right? Wise men came from the East. Job was such a... He said, in the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord were upon my tabernacle, the young men saw me and bowed their heads. The old men saw me and they stood up. What kind of influence did Job command? And then all of a sudden, in one day, everyone say one day. Say it one day. It was not one prophetic day. It was one literal day. They came to Job and said, Job, your children, they are all dead. Your cattle, your house, everything. And all that Job was left with was his wife and his health. When everything disappeared, Job checked around, what mystery do I know that can help me now? And Job said, he blessed the name of the Lord and said, naked I came and naked I will return. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How can a man speak like that? Do you not know that there must be something you know that makes you to give things like that? Your children, your cattle, everything. Job did not know that there is a possibility of knowing what can happen in the spirit. I hope you know that the meeting that happened in the spirit was an advantage that was given to us by the person who wrote that book. Those in the earth realm did not know that something transpired like that. Little did they know that the sons of God came and Satan was part of them. And he said, Satan, where are you coming from? That means Satan does not stay in one place. And that means Satan is not omnipresent. Are you seeing that now? And Satan said, from my voyage around this territory. And he said, while you went around to families and territories, did you come across a man called Job? Satan said, I know him. I've seen him. I've seen him. I destroyed other families, jeopardized other people. But when I came to Job, I saw a level of fortification that frustrated me. Come on now. This is a conversation happening in the heavenlies. Whereas Job was minding his business here in the earth realm. Imagine what is being said about you in the spirit. And you are here just walking around. Naive. And you become a victim of the result of meetings where you did not participate in. I refuse it. I refuse it. The Bible says they know not, neither do they understand. Men discuss things in the spirit. And humans in the earth realm receive the result of the meetings. And someone gets up in the morning and returns back with one leg. That is the result of a meeting that was carried out. You were not there, but you were the victim of it. Don't let anyone fool you. The whole world lieth in wickedness. Someone gets up in the morning. Blesses the name of the Lord, dresses well, and you carry your, your fire to the office. Only to return in the evening with a sack letter. Can I tell you something? When you understand the mysteries of the kingdom, you will know that nothing just happens in the earth realm. Jesus gave us a picture. He said, let it be done in the earth as it is. That means the earth is always a reflection of something that happens already in the heavens. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you learning something? My passion is to help you see from a spiritual lens. To give you a new vista so that you do not join men. You don't call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. You can step home on the strength of a higher spiritual advantage. And you know what law to engage. This is what makes you more than a conqueror.
Hallelujah. That means if Job had cursed God, he would have activated a law that would have killed him. Are you getting that? Because his wife gave us a revelation. She knew that that law existed. She said, Job, I'm your wife, but I'm tired. Do you want to die fast? Curse God. This is another revelation on its own. I don't know how you read your Bible, but I have positioned myself to see light in everything in the world. I don't read my Bible to have sermons or to crime scriptures. They are life to me. There are certain things that have intrigued me about the book of Job. One of it is the ability, hear me, the ability to invoke God and then God comes down. How did Job do it? Did he use a magic formula? Is it not in your Bible? Job summoned God and the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords showed up. Right now we use all kinds of instruments and waste time for days. We say we are trying let's call down the presence of God. Job, a man in his pain said, Lord, I demand a meeting with you. Brothers and sisters, what you know can make you look like a God upon the surface of the earth. Who is God speaking to tonight? It's time to rise up. There is a new status. There is, there is, there is an enlargement in the spirit. God wants to give you capacity to reign experientially. Oh, I sense the presence of God, strong and mighty in this place. And Job refused. And then another meeting was held in heaven. And Satan said, I, I have an explanation as to why Job didn't curse you. Because he's still healthy. He said, every man can give thanks. It's not unusual. That means as I went around the earth, I saw those I afflicted, but I left their help and they still gave thanks. He said, touch his body. God said, really? All right. Go ahead and touch his body. A man was minding his business and a ball that came out. Are you seeing that those boils? Hold on. Those boils, where did they come from? They were direct. It was based on an instruction. Like a text message you send and it will go to the person you sent it to. Job just found out that boils and blisters were coming out of his body. And his wife said, this is it. I've tried for you. We have, after all, we've had plenty of children. So if it's faithfulness, I have proven that I'm faithful. It's time to go cause God and die. She wasn't sick. She did not know that it was not because she was standing strong. But she was not part of the meeting. The, the discussion was not about her. There are so many people who have not received any attack from darkness. They think it's because their spiritual life is strong. The day your file is open, you will see how weak you are. They laugh at others. Hold on. I'm very serious tonight. They are lazy. They don't pray. They don't fast. They say, I'm not praying. I'm not fasting. I'm not doing anything. But the devil would dare not touch me. Hold on. In the book of Job, there was a discussion. Nothing happened to the wife of Job. She didn't become barren. She, she was standing close to a man with a disease that could contact her, but nothing happened. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? And then, when Job's body was sore, dogs came to lick his body. The Bible tells us, that there were certain people that came from different territories of greatness. And they sat down for seven days. They were using the wisdom that made them great to analyze what, what law would have been violated to make God judge a man like this. And for seven days they were discussing this. After seven days they looked at the guy, Job, and they said, they, they have checked everything. He was sick. He was healthy. Don't talk like that.